all right welcome back everyone so this is going to be part two of the drexler water behavior so i let this sit for um one week from the last time i, I put these products on there so the uh, top coat care number two is on, on this left hand side here we've got the base coat here in the center and the top coat care on there uh, again we just did uh, a single application on here and i've got the names written on here so we know what uh what products on there so say so it's been sitting for a week it's got some dust on it I'll go ahead and take these off because i'm gonna get the panel wet right now and then this bucket right here i just have some carpro reset and a regular wash mitt in here so i got the nozzle set on mist and so i'm just gonna mist the surface first see what kind of water behavior we get it's kind of hard to tell the darkening effect i can see a little bit it's kind of hard to see um i don't know if you guys can see this angle the, the darker thing pointed out and put this hose down for a second um i can see the outline uh, from here in this area here is a it's, a it's a box that's my my area there um i just couldn't i can't see the i think the dividing lines like right around here it's kind of hard to tell in, in this lighting here let me go ahead and miss this and then we'll see what kind of um feeding we get from each product okay so here's the the beating for the um for the top coat care number two not bad looks pretty good real tight beads <clears throat> we come over to the um the base coat here so here's the base coat Again, real tight water beading on here. I mean, it's really hard to tell between going over from the um, the base coat over to the um, top coat, which is a good thing. And then we're gonna come over to the top coat care and just walk over here. So here's the top coat care number three. And again, tight water beading as well. <clears throat> and you can kind of see what the water beading looks like on an unprotected surface, still, you're still going to bead, but it's just going to be irregular beads like this area here. So, um, so far they, they look pretty good. These are my hand prints from grabbing this hood and moving it around. Uh, but so far the beading looks good. You guys can actually see that. So again, this is the base coat here. Um, so these products look good. This is the first time I'm seeing the, the water behavior from this. From these, let me grab the thing here and I'm going to flood the surface here. And we'll see what the the top coat care looks like you can actually see that I just want you guys to see the, the water beating of it okay so I'm gonna go to the base coat section do the same thing so that's not bad and let's go over to the uh, top coat care. Again, that's pretty impressive on all three products. It's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and just flood it with the... Uh, that's what the mist setting here. I'm gonna go ahead and just flood it with the... Uh, uh, kind of like the see what the sheen looks like so that's not bad at all kind of hard to do it because this thing's kind of it's angled backwards so a lot of the wires in the sheet that way so again we just flood the surface here compared to unprotected paint And then here, let me scoot over here. Uh, here's the base coat. So pretty good. And then here's the top coat care. Again, that's good. I'm going to put on the shower setting in here, if I can find it. There we go. And we'll go ahead and just shower this. So 
that's kind of like the water behavior you're going to get if it's if it's raining outside. That's not bad. And let me go ahead and uh, slip up the surface real quick with some reset. And we'll see what the beating diminishes in that instance. <clears throat> walk over here on this side here you can tell the dry erase marker just wiped right off it though with it so that goes to show you that I think this one was on the on the coat on the actual coated surface that came right off and I bet you I can do the same thing with this one yeah I wrote it right I wrote it right on the coated surface so we'll see if it um, starts to open up here let me just try something here So you can see the coating trying to shed that the soap off here. It's the top coat care. Or actually top coat number one. It's doing a better job than the base coat. Top coat care, not so much. But that's pretty good. So that's telling me that the top coat is more hydrophobic than the other two. Let's see if I can get the others to do that. It could be just the angle too. product itself doing that. Let's go ahead and shower this, rinse this, and we'll see if it, the behavior stick, sticks around. I think you guys can actually see this. That the base coat by itself is more sheeting type than the um, than the top coat products. When it comes to the water behavior, as soon as the water hits it, is the top coat care. There's a base coat where the water just lays a little bit more flat. And then here's the top coat that goes over the base coat. Again, the water just keeps just more beating on there. You do that with the actual mist setting here. Let me get, let me get another one. There's a setting in here. There's a fan setting on this nozzle that works pretty good. So let me find it. I don't know which one it is. I think it's this one. There we go. So I left us with some tight beads. We'll go over here with the base coat. Again, you're left with some tight beads. Here's the top coat here. So that's not bad. So that's the water behavior of the Drexler products. Just want to show you guys what it looks like. Um, the base coat is pretty hydrophobic on its own, but you can see that the water tends to lay flat before it runs off. I mean, it still it still beads. It reminds me a lot of Crystal Serum Light and Gion Mose, but the um, tonner, the water behavior, the tight water beading is going to come from the top coat that sits on top of the base coat. Uh, that because that looks really looks really good. So this this is you can tell that this is going to uh, be more hydrophobic, and it's even more hydrophobic than the top coat care. Uh, so that's again Drexler Ceramic. Uh, hope this video was helpful in understanding what the water behavior is. I don't know the durability. Uh, we'll get to that at a later time. All right. So thanks for watching.